Welcome back. This is KTN Prime. Now for an area that developed as a result of the uniting of a few landowners to form a cooperative society more than a decade and a half ago, Mwiki Estate has grown and developed over time to become one of Nairobi's most populated areas with close to 100,000 people living there. This week on Area Code, Timothy Otena talks to the residents of Mwiki that was once known as a breeding ground for the dreaded Mungiki sects. Take a look. It will take you approximately 25 minutes to get to Mwiki Estate from the Nairobi Central Business District. That is, if there will be no traffic. The ride is rather smooth. Especially if you board one of the estate's souped-up rides, to which you pay a fare of between 50 to 100 shillings, depending on the time of the day. Welcome to an area that in the past might have been a no-go zone, mainly due to the heavy presence of members of the outlawed Mungiki sect, who reigned terror on these streets for many years. It is just a perception that people are thinking Mweki is a bad place, but right now we have several police stations here in Mweki, we have a police station. They patrol each and every, every day, morning, each and every hour. Mungiki, yeah. Ilikuwa, si uongo ilikuwa, but then sisi tulikuwa wadogo hiyo time. But after some time, hiyo manano yote ilikuja ikaongelewa, watu wakakachini, na hiyo story ikaisha. Sahi ya kuna mtu wata kuambia mungiki hapa kwa barabara. So, atu ogopi. But now, Mwiki is battling to fight that negative past, and it seems it's winning. The estate is now a beaming commercial center with virtually every street aligned with numerous stalls and shops. Xavier Omondi has been a trader at the estate for more than four years now. His stall is one of the most visited by many of the youths in the area. Yeah. And if the number of shops don't draw you into this bustling estate, perhaps the public transport vehicles will. Matatus here are among the estate's biggest form of attractions. David Nganga has been living in the area since 2004 and works within the estate's vibrant transport unit. Iyo land yote ilikuwa Kenyatta, na hata hii barabara ilikuwa private kulingana na vile wazewa na tuwambi. But then, sijui kama ni friends wake aligawia, ama ni ile story ya shares, za land, za kitambo, ndiyo hiyo story ya kuza hizi plots ilitokea. Na watu wakaanza kubai, you know. Kitambo hata zikuwa na beikali, but now, beiko juu. Kitaka land hapa, neza kofu pesa kanga? Around, kwanzi ya 4 million, 5 million, depending na kwenye hiko. Most of the land space here in Mwiki Estate has since been sold off to private owners who are continuing with the work of growing one of Nairobi's most populous estate. In this particular area, you will witness many such construction sites that are predominant in this particular area. And indeed, the population has grown from merely just about 6,000 residents in 2009 to close to 100,000 now. But the Achilles Hill for the area has been the poor state of the roads that have caused... Residents of Mwike in Nairobi's Kasarani area today took to the streets to express their anger over poor roads. The Not one. The hundreds of commuters from Mwiki Kasarani areas that feed onto Thika Superhighway were forced to walk to work after transport operators paralyzed the transport over poor roads. Not two. Hundreds of residents from Mwiki and Kasarani, Nairobi have been forced to walk to work after public service vehicles withdrew their services. The PSV operators are protesting the poor state of the Mwiki Kasarani road, which Not they say three. Katika barabara ya Mwiki wa hudumu waliandamana asubuhi ya leo wakilalamikia hali mbovu ya barabara hiyo 
but numerous complaints led by a few demonstrations over the same issue. But hopefully, na hii county government na hiyo devolution at least wataangalia mwiki juu hii barabara yetu unajua ina connect kutoka kwa super highway na ina connect na hii Kangundo road and the situation may get worse this single stretch of road separating one side of mwiki to another may have to sustain the population explosion in the area that has a peculiar mixture of both commercial and residential structures. Why do you think uh, Wasi Wengi wana prefer Mwiki? Okay, Mwiki ni kama, ni kama ka central region between upcountry Awase na CBD. So, for instance, to say me, kuna jama ushagokao ni apanyeri, so wana prefer kuishi mwiki juu na access tao within 20 minutes ile time kuna traffic na bado access from Ocha kwa up country from with, from within kitu one and a half hours Timothy Utieno KTN News